glove there with a nice spin move to get in there and Malay drop that in there off the glass. Yeah. Cersei setting up in a two-on-two -two defense. And Edelton swinging that ball awfully quick. And a lot of motion cuts here. Mm -hmm. Some L cuts out to the wing. As we mentioned earlier, the Lady Raiders are ranked number two in the state. And the men's team falls just a little short at 16. As they are 4-2 and two in conference. 10-5 overall. Oh, and Young in with the layup. Well, if you look at the team rankings, Nettleton comes into the game ranked 16 in the state, and Cersei comes in ranked 77. <laughs> There's a little bit of difference in those yeah, numbers. Yeah, just a tad. Griffin Love up in the corner. Ooh, Freddie Hicks with a good rebound. Yeah, so she's pushing the tempo early. I like to see that. Griffin loves out on the wing, goes for a shot, and it falls. Looks like the Raiders are calling a timeout with only six minutes and 45 seconds in. As they, they lead six to zero. They're trying to figure out what to do to break the defense and try to score, get, score some points and get on the board. Yeah, they need to put a stop to that momentum that Cersei's grabbing right here early. Yes. And get that student section rolling. Yeah. It doesn't take long. No, it doesn't. With as many football players in the stands as we do right now, we'd hope they'd be as loud as they are. Yeah, for sure. Cersei Lions is coached by John White. This is his fourth year coaching at the Li with the Lions. Third, third year. with a rebound and finally on the board with two points. Peyton Caldwell looking for a place to go. Woo, Griffin Love with a crossover. Oh, and his layup, but packed back in by Hamrick. Freddie Hicks, oh. oh, and it looks like Nettleton will get a charge out of Freddie Hicks. With a great play, nonetheless. That was yeah. Hambrick with an excellent pass back in. Reminds me a lot of Mitchell Smith, a guy I played against in high school, went on to play basketball at Missouri. So wow. Having to guard him, he was quick on those spins too. You gotta play on that mm -hmm. backside. Yeah. Hambrick up top, looking for a pass off to someone. Freddie Hicks will take that pass and look for a drive in. Oh, pass over to the corner for Griffin Love with the weird looking shot. Oh, uh, double clutch. Try not to get blocked. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Woo! Freddie Hicks thought he had a clean block, but he'll take the foul nonetheless. Kevin Fulton will go to the line to shoot two. And he'll give that foul to Griffin Love, it looks like. So Freddie had the clean pack, but it looked like Griffin had a hand on him. Free throws good as Fulton falls off balance at the end of his shot. Second shot's good also. Oh, Nettleton will come up for a press. Picking up at half court. Oh. Nettleton's defense coming out quick. Caldwell looking for the shot. Oh, off the back of the rim, rebounded by Tuberville. Tuberville. Looking 
Looking inside, we have a tall senior, number 40, Jacarius Kane, 6'5", for the two-point shot. Oh, that's tall. Well, they can't stop Kane there. Kane's dropping them down. Oh, Young inside like just missed. got a hand on that one. And the Lions will get the ball back. for a pass out to Freddie Hicks. Fakes out, pass back to Caldwell. Right into the game, Peyton right into the game for the Cersei Lions. Freddie Hicks will take the three-point shot, but it looks like it was tipped as it was leaving his fingers by Cortez Hamilton. Looking to read the pass, but it looks like the Raiders will get a point in from Kane. Caldwell new to Cersei this year. Senior. Pass over to Freddie Hicks. Right, looking to set a screen. Oh, and it looks like Freddie will get another charge to put on him tonight. The second one. Second foul of the night. Not what Coach White is looking for from him to, for sure. At least we know he's driving in hard. That's yeah, all you can ask from a player. Kane back in, but out to Fulton. Cortez in, and Wright will get the charge. That'll be given to Cortez Hamilton. Hamilton. Okay. Fulton, Hamilton, Kane. Those are the three main ones. McFadden going into the lane. Freddie will jump for him, scare him off, and rebound. Oh, Raiders somehow get the ball. Yeah, and they jump. will call a jump. Oh. And it looks like Cersei will take a timeout. Coach White calls the boys over to regroup. Can you tell us how wrestling went tonight at Dual State? You know, play English. Oh, oh, oh. 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 what is this? Well, Demacia said all went well as they're looking forward to going on to state and hopefully winning another ring this season. Good luck to the wrestling team. <laughs> With two and a half minutes left in the first period. Well, they called, looked like an, it was either another legal screen there. Caldwell with the three. Oh, just rims out. Oh, Raiders try to save it, but going into their cheerleaders. Yeah. They don't realize cheerleading's dangerous in basketball. You never know what could hit it you. It is, you're right there. 200 pound man or a ball going 20 miles an hour. We hope none of that happens and all the cheerleaders stay safe. Ball by Tristan Alcorn going out of bounds. Fulton with a 
three-point shot rebounded by Peyton Wright. Cald Peyton Caldwell will take the ball back up the floor. Freddie Hicks looking over at Alcorn. Oh, picking the ball up. Oh, and Kane got in the tip, and Raiders will take possession. That was nice. That was a good shot by Kane. Caldwell calling for a sweep into Peyton Wright, who looks back in. Oh, and it looks like... Nathan Anderson will steal the ball and turn it into a layup. Yeah. Coach White's going to take another timeout. That is a 14-0 run there because it was 6-0 and they called that timeout. Yes. Whatever their coach McCord talked to the guys about, they surely turned it around and fixed. layer up before getting out of your house. It's pretty cold outside and only getting colder, so stay bundled up and stay away from the flu. And the Lions will get the ball under Nettleton's goal. Tristan Alcorn, Peyton Caldwell, Griffin Love, Peyton Wright, and Marcus Young in for the Lions. Damian Young. And Peyton Caldwell for the three-point shot. Cortez Hamilton and Marion McFadden in for the Raiders. Young up top looking over to Caldwell who looks for another three point shot off the back of the rim. Oh, Caldwell timing up, but Peyton Wright with the steal gives it to Griffin Love. Caldwell with the pump fake. Cross court to Damian Young who puts it up for a three off the front of the rim, rebounded by the Raiders. And Damian Young with the steal again as he goes into the lane. Oh, rolls it in. That was a good run from the Lions, something we really needed to see and they needed to do. Yeah. That was a smooth move there on the that drop was. step. Peyton Ride yeah. with an excellent steal. Lines down by two if this free throw is made. And we'll have 12 14 as a score with 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Peyton Caldwell tipping the ball out of the back, but recovered by the Raiders. Oh, Damian Young timing up once again, though. Oh, there will be a foul at the end of the quarter on the floor. One of the refs calling for a push. The other one saying on the floor. Oh, talk at the top of the key to figure out what to do. Cersei Lions down 12-14 at the end of the first. Well, you see some good things from the Lions with the, in the past minute or so. Can you? Yeah. Well, they, uh, they've been, like I was saying during the girls' game, I like seeing them drive into the middle of the lane and kick it out because then they can swing the ball around. It definitely helps. But. And they'll take the floor again. It'll look like the, they decided the Raiders would have a floor call, and they'll take it out under the basket. Give them three seconds. 
the clock. Three seconds back. And Coach White not understanding what was going on. It looks like the ref over there on the far side is shaking his head. He doesn't understand Point why we're seven doing it this seconds. way. For some reason, we decided to run the clock down instead of just no. setting it. Well, I don't see the use of point seven seconds, but maybe the Raiders, the Raiders will hopefully score and do something with it. Shot is no good. <laughs> and that is now the end of the first quarter. Score still 12 to 14. Coach White talking to the rest, not sure what's going on. Looks like they got it figured out. the bench as he has two fouls. They One of them fairly quick. Well, yeah, they're both on charges. Can't have him fouling out just yet as he's going to be a key part to this game, especially with all the height that Nettleton has inside. Yeah, they've got a lot of it, and they're using it pretty well so far. Yeah. A lot of great box outs. Like Lions are going into a man defense going into the second. <laughs> Called well at point guard. Over to Alcorn and drops it into Wright, who kicks it back out to Caldwell. Oh, Caldwell was counting on Wright to cut in. Must have been some miscommunication in that play. Love gets tangled up and starts in a cover for the Raiders. Uh, Fulton trying to decide if he wanted to take the three or not. Oh, oh. tripped up. Hamilton, excuse me, McFadden tripped up, recovered by the Lions, and it looks like a pass out of bounds. Freddie Hicks back in for Griffin Love. Oh, Peyton Caldwell getting tied up in that, and they will give him the foul. He didn't think he fouled him there. Nobody else in the building is surprised. No, look like it. When your arms are tangled up like that, yeah. you, can, you can't help but call a shooting yeah, foul. Yeah, got to. First shot from McFadden is good. And second shot falls also. Driving down court pretty fast. Looking for a cutout to Alcorn. Back end to Wright who dips it out to Young. Young with a fake over to Freddie Hicks. Hicks looking out. Back up top to Alcorn. Fake handoff back up to Caldwell. Hicks. Hicks calling the play as Peyton Reich. Second foul on number five, Damian Young. Yep, that's going to be another legal screen call. They've really been hammering on this tonight. Oh, and it looks like a student section uh, had a cup fall onto the court. Uh -oh. They'll look to clean that up. Well, going to have to have a pause in the game as they clean up a spilled Chick-fil-A cup. The 
And that might be why they implemented the no outside food or drink rule. busy at work to get the game back going. Custodian staffs coming over with the help of a broom and dustpan. Very great technique. Sweeping up the ice as efficient as possible. The cheerleaders just staying out of the way. <laughs> Cameron like they've got the spill under control and they will resume play as the Raiders take the ball down court. Interesting. Bernie Hicks down low with the tip and rebound. Alcorn will take it in for a jump shot. Oh, Wynn will grab a foul on Kane. Alcorn at the line. First shot will go in, putting the game at 13 to 16. The second shot is up and off the back of the rim, but it looks like Young got a finger on it before the Raiders took it back. And taking oh. it in. Oh, and Kane with the rebound and put back. Rebound. Yeah. Easy. Well, when you're six foot five, you should be able to hope and grab those up. That's true. Alcorn looking for the drive in. And a foul, and the crowd does not yeah, agree with it. Charge. Yeah, it'd be on. Landon, for sure. Yep. Yep, that's on Landon. He was gambling there on that pass and he missed it. And why you don't jump in the passing lanes like that? pom-pom kicked away looking pretty upset <laughs> Caldwell bring the ball up court right looking for a shot but pass now to Alcorn Steal. And resulting in two points. So close. Oh, rebounded by the Raiders. Oh, and passed out of bounds.
nice three-point shot. He's able to set his feet and his shoulders. Nice arc. Dump inside to Kane. Knock that one down. Point shot inside, rebounded again by. Get that out of here. It's a nice Tuberville block. couldn't get it in, but away. Kane finishes the deal. Like a hot potato. Freddie Hicks at odds. Peyton Wright with the screen. Dump in a handbrake. Caldwell to O. Oh. Fulton out. Oh, and Caldwell, yeah, right, thought he had the three. that one right off the rim. It was a wide open jumper. You gotta hit that one. That's the reason you're out there. Two minutes left in the second. Oh, Hamilton into Moore, and Peyton Wright gets a hand on it. Freddie Hicks looking to make a move. Caldwell with a three-point shot, which floats in. Really pushing the tempo here. playing angry since yeah. his incident over here with the cheerleader. He's been playing pretty angry. Yeah. Peyton Wright inside, laid it in. The Lions are catching back up, only down by four points with just a minute left in the second half. Teammates calling for a quicker pace. Is there Cora? Oh, Hamilton with the miss three, rebounded by Alcorn. Caldwell will take the floor up. Peyton Wright looking for a cut through. Caldwell take it back out to the corner. Up to Alcorn. Hamburg in the wing, looks inside to Freddie Hicks. Freddie will rotate around, look up for the two, but well call a walk. Uh, crowds don't quite agree with that call, but White greets his team as they come down the floor. Hicks coming out is Kevin Love and Damian Young coming. Griffin Love and yeah. Damian Young coming to the game. They wish they had Kevin yeah, Love. They sure do. Oh, Hambrick with almost a tip. Back into the corner with Kane who lays it up for a two. Caldwell take it down the floor. Hambrick looking for it. Oh. And it just missed by the buzzer. We'll go into halftime, Cersei down six, 24 to 30. As we look forward to the Lady Lion Steppers and the Lion cheerleading team to perform now. Well, at the end of that half, they're playing a little angry. I have a, a coach, a friend of mine, Doc Rivers, coaches the LA Clippers. He also advocates, a little aggressive there at the end of the half. Sometimes you gotta do that. Saw that when he had his his big of uh, big team of Chris Paul, Blake yes. Griffin, get a little aggressive at the end of the game, shake things up a little bit, and amount a comeback. My main man is alma mater, Isaiah Joe, Fort Smith Northside, taking a 41-15 lead into halftime against Fort Smith tonight. 
That's my boy. Isaiah Cho gone. They're still holding it down over there in Fort Smith without him beating down their crosstown rivals. Looks like the Raiders will get the ball to start the third quarter. Peyton Caldwell with a tip. Oh, well, Freddie Hicks will come. Freddie Hicks can't get to it quite in time. The Raiders will get the ball back under Cersei goal. Oh, excuse me, the Lions will get the ball. Freddie Hicks looking for a jump inside, which he gets. Oh, and Fulton will get the ball. Taken in. Oh, Freddie Hicks with the tip, but not quite enough to divert the ball. Two points for the Raiders. Oh, and Alcorn with the ball just going off the rim. Caldwell hands up in defense, works wonders as Caldwell will take the ball up the floor. Raiders got trailing him, and his looks like Cersei will get the ball on the under the goal. They need to do a, a better job of identifying a trail man on fast breaks to prevent situations like yeah. that. Caldwell over to right. Freddie Hicks at the three-point line now looking to drive in. And they'll call a foul. Number 24, Charles Moore. Wait, excuse me, 24, Fowler. Oh, wait, it was 22. I said the wrong number. 22, Cortez Hamilton. Oh, we got cold one here. for a person out. He'll try to find that with Tristan Alcorn. Caldwell with the ball again. Oh, foul on Fulton. The Raiders already with two fouls this game, or this quarter. Out to Freddie Hicks. Looks to drive in. And it looks like they'll give a foul to number 22, Cortez Hamilton. Hicks will go for two free throws. First one is good. And a second one is good also. points. Yeah. That was poor defense there. Oh, and a steal by 32. Oh, but miss layup as Freddie Hicks recovers and runs down court. Corner pass to Caldwell who looks around to see what's open. Back up to Tristan Alcorn for a two-point shot. Bounces off the back of the rim. Recovered by 32. K oh, Caldwell with the Intercepted pass and over to Hicks. Back over to right. In for a three off the backboard. Freddie Hicks hit back in. That was an amazing last few seconds on court as something went on down on the Raiders end that we weren't sure about at first. Woo, Caldwell looking for another steal. 
playing tight defense, 30 to 36. Oh, Freddie Hicks looking for a steal, grabs it, goes to the rim, misses it, but gets it over to Tristan Alcorn and kicks it back out to Freddie Hicks in the corner, back over to right. Oh, and Griffin, Griffin Love just not ready for the pass under the goal. Coach John White not happy about that, but great play from the rep, from the Lions. Looks like the Raiders will get the ball back, as we thought to begin with. Yep, that's the right call. Well, if they're not going to be able to execute on those fast breaks, they're going to have to pull it back and run the offense, because that's not cutting it. It's not heads-up basketball. Call a foul on Peyton Wright, I believe. See down there, Peyton Wright for Cersei just let him just sit in front of him, not fronting him down there in the post. They're just lobbing the ball in there. Living Kane to the free throw line, misses his first one. And a second one drops. Hicks for three just off the back of the rim. Ray does a root right. Raiders will rebound it and turn it back over to the Lions. Cersei down by seven. Not much has happened since the beginning of the half. Well, pump fake. Oh, goes for the three. Makes it. <laughs> As an opinion, I believe uh, Peyton Caldwell's really improved from the beginning of the season, only hitting one or two shots maybe a game, and he's hit about four now. Really showing improvement from the beginning of the season, which is what we love to see in a player. Oh, Freddie Hicks with a tip, saving it from out of bounds. Peyton Caldwell will recover it. It looks like it is going back to the Lions. <laughs> Freddie Hicks barreled out of bounds. It looked like fell into the lap of an innocent bypasser, but everything's all right. Freddie Hicks inside. Oh, off the rim and put back in. from young athletes out on the floor showing so much talent and potential in upcoming years. We'll have Freddie Hicks for one more year before he graduates in 2020. There he is in the post again. Kane calling for it inside, but why? Uh -oh. He gets back down into the post. Words being exchanged down under the goal from Wright and Kane. section. I'm not happy about it either, but looks like Caldwell's over with a Well, he's standing there shoulder. letting the man get in front of him. He's not fronting him on defense. I don't know if I'd want to be right going talking to Kane or not. Yeah. Oh, Wright stands at 6'4", not but an inch shorter than Kane, but I believe there's more of a height difference than one inch. ball up the floor. Oh, going inside to Tristan Alcorn, out to Hambrick, puts it up for a three off the front of the rim. Oh, a rebound about the Raiders. Oh, rebounded by Kane. Woo. Third shot rebound. Whoa! And there will be a foul on that play by Landon Hambrick. Two, 
Jamarius Peek to the line for two. Second one's off. Rebounded by Freddie Hicks over to Alcorn. Over to Handbrake who looks across court but decides to drive. Oh, stole by. with a three just off the back of the rim, rebounded by Tuberville. Three point from Tuberville, which knocks in. White going to call a timeout as uh, Nettleton's offense seems explosive at the moment. Okay, you got this. down in the post, which isn't too bad. It's good to see a little bit of athleticism in here. Going to Indianapolis on January 2nd, uh, going to Butler and getting to see how Patrick, Patrick Ewing implemented his strategy to counteract Butler's big man was just something to witness. Patrick's in-game adjustments were just superb, but just learned so much from a yeah, yeah. 
Hall of Famer like Patrick Ewing. Now he's passing on his knowledge. His kids at Georgetown. Freddie Hicks in with a missed dunk. Oh. Nettable. Hey, it's okay. I love Freddie. He's so sweet. Freddie Hicks not too happy with that last attempt. And Really going to be looking to avenge himself later on in the quarter, for sure. Hicks going to be playing hard for sure now, though, after the gym with an uproar. So hopefully he'll use that and play hard. Lions down by 11. Rebound by Peyton Caldwell. Down 35 to 46 as we go into the fourth quarter. Well, it looks like the cheerleader, Cersei cheerleaders kind of got the show stolen from them tonight because the Moralton cheerleaders are really bringing it on and nobody's really paying attention to them, which must just hurt their little hearts. Yeah, well, this atmosphere in here is great tonight. But uh, I tell you, I've, had, I've been lucky to experience some good bas basketball atmosphere in the past month. Started the month off going to Butler. The atmosphere was great. February 2nd, we'll be going to, to Baton Rouge to watch Arkansas play LSU. Looking at the ticket now, at the press pass for that. It's great to go and see the different styles of, of, of basketball across the country, but even across the state, you can see the different styles of yeah. coaching. And, and I'm interested to see here what this Cersei coaching staff does to change the way this game's going. But like I said earlier, when I went to Butler, I was listening to some of the signals Patrick Ewing was shouting out from the bench, and he was able to change the whole flow of the game by just a few calls. He put on his full court press. I'm not, there we go, the music's off. But when he put on that full court press, it overwhelmed Butler's guards. Of course, a lot of turnovers, but there's something to look oh, for. Oh, Peyton Caldwell with a tip in, but recovered again by a Raider. Freddie Hicks was looking for a foul, but Damian Young with the rebound, looking to drive in, and the Raiders will get a foul on Young. We're gonna call a charge. Cersei fans not happy about that last no, call. Not. He's going to work down there in the post. That's just not going to cut it down there in the post. They're either going to have to drop somebody back. They need to tighten up and something. put a man on Kane. He's not getting it done one on one. Oh. Pass out of bounds. I need to make an announcement about a vehicle. It's a black cat. Seconds left in the game. Coach 
Coach White hoping to tighten up some defense on the Raiders as they're penetrating down low. up top with the ball. Oh, Caldwell tipped out of his hands. 45, 35-52. Freddie Hicks passes over to Damian Young. Pass off to Tristan Alcorn over to Young. Caldwell. Freddie Hicks working inside. Caldwell can't get it in. Oh, Damian Young tries and it's tipped by the Raiders, which results in a two. Oh, a foul on Freddie Hicks. Hicks thought he was jumping up with the ball, gets tied up around Kane's shoulder. shoulder now even though it was the other one that Freddie was around. Kane to the line. First one just outside. As much work as we've seen Kane put it on the inside of the lane. He hasn't been too good in his free throw percentage as of now. Missing the first one I think on every approach the second. Oh, tipped out of bounds by the Raiders. Pass to Caldwell. Oh, didn't look down lane to Peyton. Right. Oh, two points and a late foul. Oh, yeah. Looks like they're going to get him with the tech. A technical foul on number 32. Caldwell, first shot is good. Yep, that's a double tech. Double tech. Not sure where the one from Cersei came from. I don't know. Well, well, we don't have any word on what just happened down at the floor. If we get information, we'll let you know. As of now, the score stands 38-55. This year in uh, both college basketball and in the NBA, there's been a lot of talk about nutrition among athletes, what they're eating. 
can tell you from experience, comes from the top. All right, we, we just received information that Cersei received a tech because our guy started taunting the other Raiders fan as he was trying to get off the floor. Raiders will get the ball back. from behind as he went up for a shot. Right up top over to Hicks. Oh, remember, we're looking for Freddie Hicks to avenge himself here in a bit, but that was not what everybody Another thought happened. Foul. That's his third or fourth. That is Freddie Hicks' fourth foul of the night. Really fast, want to give you an update. Coming out of North Little Rock, a younger brother and Cabot are tied with North Little Rock with 3.36 to go in the fourth, 43-43. That's a matchup between some top tier teams in the state here. But this game's a little out of reach, but. <laughs> yeah. Fulton, top of the court. Yeah, I want to go back to that nutrition that I was talking about earlier. Comes from the top, even the, even those in the league. That was a nice pass, nice entry pass. Huh? Even like I was talking about. The late game called on the Raiders. over looking to for a way out of back court oh and they got it Freddie Hicks over to Peyton Wright with a two point shot fouled by Fulton no excuse me Tuberville Lions down by 17 with 4 minutes and 24 seconds left <laughs> Free throws good. Fulton will bring the ball, getting tied up with Damian Young and Freddie Hicks. And it looks like the ref is going to call the call it on Damian Young. Freddie Hicks awful close to that fifth foul. Fifth. Yeah, if you look at the size down there in the post. You don't get that big without proper nutrition and diet. I'm Lynn. just looking at one of the many pictures I have with with Doc, Coach Doc Rivers, and even even the coaches. You can see in the photo, eats. He had two boxes of fettuccine alfredo after the game, and that's just some of what the players eat. That's that that nutrition, just getting something in your body, getting that fuel. I guarantee you, these postmen don't get so big without eating a proper diet. Can't just eat whatever. Griffin Love attention. back into the game for the Cersei Lions. Free throw is good from Fulton. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Hicks bringing the ball up the court for the Lions, looking for a drive in. Oh! Oh, and a missed free throw. But recovered by Young, who puts it up, but it's fouled. Freddie Hicks calling for a foul also at his drive in, saying someone is grabbing at his leg. Young going to the line as the lion. Line. And it looks like we're about to have a fan. Looks like 
ejected. Had to do that two weeks uh -oh. ago, personally, myself, in a high school game. No tolerance Looks for that. like it's getting into it with one of the players. Uh, Mr. Hodges. Mr. Hodges escorting a lady out. Looks like altercation might have went on with Landon Hambrick, but we're not sure. Like I said, two weeks ago in, in Canada. Yeah, in Landon like Hambrick. Got to get out. Well. And the free throw is good from Damian Young. Hambrick getting it over to Griffin Love. Oh, whoa. And two points. <laughs> Fulton in for two. <laughs> Freddie Hicks. Oh, up for two. Miss put back up and it goes in. Freddie playing a rough defense, trying not to get the fifth foul. Over to Fulton. Oh, two points. And he gambled oh, it's there. too Went easy. He's gambling. Might as well go down. Freddie looking to drive down, down the, the floor. Pass. Call a foul on Fulton. Uh, Freddie will go to the line. Shoot a one and one. And it looks like we'll have a sub in, number five, Nathan Anderson. In for Tupperville. And number 23, Charles Moore at the buzzer. Freddie Hicks makes the first one. He'll line back up for a second. Just under three minutes left, 47-63. And the second one is good also. Raiders, oh, intercepted by Hambrick. Excuse me, Love. And there will be a foul on number one, Fulton. It's his second back-to-back. -back. Love will go to the line to shoot two. Two. Well, if he, if he can make these next two shots, the Lions will be down 13, and first one's down. Lines up for the second shot. And the second one is good. Um, and it looks like... Oh, Rev made a blue. Oh, I thought he said, my bad, my bad. Either way, yeah. you know, Raiders here. with the ball down court. Oh, two points. It's just the court also goes up. 50 to 65, down by 15 with 242 left. Freddie Hicks looking for the three. Tristan Alcorn up top for two. Misses. Rebounded by Fulton. Love timing up for a jump ball. There we go.
Lane, who loses it out of bounds, dives off into the crowd. two-point layup gets tied up and calls a travel <laughs> well if anything we know these guys can clean the floor tonight as many times as that rack's been brought out gym floor should be spotless by the end of yeah, the night we've had plenty of uh, white cups tonight mm -hmm. give them a bottle of floor racks while they're at it for a layup off the back of the rim recovered rebounded by <laughs> by a series of Alcorn and Young and Alcorn finally put it back up for two everybody calling a walk in the stadium but not getting it oh and oh. Zach Killens with the block almost will be given a foul but a foul worth giving for two. Oh, off the back, but put back by Tristan. Rebounded by Kane. Oh. Oh, and now Kane with the missed dunk. I'm sure that makes Freddie Hicks feel a little bit better. Set him up only to miss. And no call a trip on Griffin Love. Wilson Hamilton to the line for two. First shot is good. Fifty-two sixty-seven with a minute and two seconds left. And the first, second free throw is good also. In for the game, we have Griffin Love, Tr Tristan Alcorn, Damian Young, Landon Hamburg, and Zach Killens. Oh, Fulton getting tied up in a herd of lions. Zach Killens with the recovery, getting tied up with Kane. But it looks like Kane will go, I mean, Killens will go to the line for free throws. Killens is a sophomore, so he's getting a significant amount of time in the game tonight. Hope to see more from him in the coming years. First shot bounces out. Lines up for a second shot. And the second shot is good. Kane almost getting a dunk off the rim and misses again. Griffin
Griffin Love. Oh, with a three-point foul. He will go to the line for three. It's always great to see a player take advantage of that and use the pump fake to his advantage. First shot off the back of the rim. Second shot off the back of the rim. <laughs> Fulton not knowing there were three shots. And the last one is good. Kane not rushing down court. Fulton goes up for two. Love dribbles down court over to Zach Killens, who hits it to Damian Young for three point off the front of the rim over to Kane. Two points. And the game will end 56 72 here at Lions Arena tonight. It's been a hard night for both Lions teams as they worked hard against the Raiders. We hope to see a great matchup against them the next time they play. And signing off for Lion TV, I'm Sydney Bryant. And I'm Trey Tonneson. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. night.